Welcome back to another episode of The Canon, where it is my job to bring you the latest in comic book and superhero movie news. So, before we get started, I do want to just say, it's been a while since the episode. Um, while I do like to bring you something as often as possible, I don't like to just scratch together episodes just to have one. Um, for one reason or other, we just been really dry with superhero movie news. Uh, it's been very small things, uh, nothing that has been really confirmed, some rumors, some small things, but nothing big. And so, uh, I do want to make sure that I cover the news that is prominent and not sit here and speculate on a lot of stuff. So, uh, that's why it hasn't been an episode in a while. I'm not going to do an episode just for the sake and, you know, sit here and talk for 15 minutes about something that's not even that real important or something that's not confirmed so that's why it's been such a break but today we got a whole dc episode man let's talk about the news uh but mainly we want to talk about that justice league trailer so the justice league trailer just dropped I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen it. I think you should go see it first before you listen to this. Um, but I just watched it a few times. And I gotta be honest. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I uh, watched it twice. I didn't like anything about it. I think I think it started off nice with um, Amy Adams looking out and seeing Clark in the field. That was very... Man of Steel, very BVS, very Zack Snyder. It felt, you know, with the music, it felt like a continuation of the movies. And then after that, it just, I don't know what happened. I didn't like the song choice. Not not something that I was jiving with. It, it For as much action and, you know, what's happening in the scenes, the first song they chose, Come Together, was so much better. And then this was just, I, I, I didn't think it fit. And then... Um, the CG for Cyborg, I pray to God, is not finished. Every single time I've seen him, unless it's a close-up shot, I'm just like, that looks terrible. I'm like, that for 2017, that looks absolutely terrible. It looks like a TV show. And so, in this uh, trailer, we get a shot of him catching Aquaman and flying, and it just looked terrible. I was... Oh, I just I'm I am a little upset because I think Ray Fisher is bringing sort of a serious deadpan to Cyborg that I wasn't expecting, but I, I like it so far. He stands up to Batman. He doesn't care. I think he does have some acting chops to him that he can be dynamic with Cyborg, but unfortunately, because of the character, it's a lot about how he looks. So that part really worries me. And then what also worries me is this whole ending climactic fight where it's, it looks just crazy. Like you can't see anything. And I, I usually don't like the people like Zack Snyder makes a red glowing sky and everything's hazy and looks the same. I mean, he has a distinct style. Um, I will agree with that, but I don't think it looks you know, just like a hazy battle, whatever, like they try to, a uh, hazy CGI battle is what they call it, but I will admit, this looks like that, it looks like a hazy CGI battle, all these parademons flying around, a gigantic Stephen Wolf, now, I don't doubt the moments with the Justice League together before that are going to be great, I don't doubt every moment you see the characters interact with each other won't be great, but that final scene looks so nasty and just thrown together with cgi not i do not like it at all i I mean the doomsday fight seems similar but i could dig that fight that fight was fine you know it was still clear enough where you can see and it, it it felt natural this looks just a little too video gamey and so i am worried about that i'm worried about that criticism actually coming to life uh, and then they ended off with the joke from Flash, and it was not funny. I mean, it started off cool, but then it, it just went too much into it. Again, he's not Wally West. He's not the the funny uh, kitty type Flash from the TV show Justice League. This is supposed to be Barry Allen, the more mature, heroic one. 
And I know that they're bringing that type of fun energy with Ezra Miller. But if those are the type of jokes he's going to be doing, I think it's going to be over the top. I didn't laugh at it, like, at all. So, I I don't know, man. I'm worried about some things with this movie. I can't distinctly say it looks different from before because we we haven't seen much. But I, I am scared that you're going to watch this movie and it's going to look like completely two different movies in one. And and that terrifies me. So I didn't like this trailer. I don't know what you guys thought, but for me, it, it just nothing hit. I mean, nothing hit in this trailer at all. And so I, I'm kind of worried. But at the same time, I think the best thing is we don't know much about this movie. We know the basic plot, but we don't know the scenes and things that are going to be in here because we haven't seen a lot of footage. A lot of people worry, how come we haven't seen the trailer? I argue that I would perf- I'd be perfectly fine if we didn't get another, tra- if we never got this trailer. If we just had the one trailer from before and they start playing it everywhere right before it came out, I think that would have been enough. I think we're getting too much into all these trailers and showing the whole movie before you go see it. I'm starting, I really want to stay away from trailers, but I can't because of these, you know, uh, the YouTube, but I prefer to go in a little more in the dark. And so when I'm watching this trailer, I realize like, man, we really don't know. Like the whole uh, Amy Adams scene, I was like, wow, I never even thought that that would be in there. So uh, it's a lot of things we don't notice in there and a lot of things that Josh Whedon added. So uh, that is exciting to me that we don't know a lot. And I hope it stays that way until it comes out. So this movie might be it might have amazing scenes in it that we aren't expecting. All right. So that's enough about the trailer. Um, I'll probably we'll probably cover some. I don't know. Cover it a little later. I, I suspect there's going to be more trailers coming. So we'll see. We are getting uh, less than two months, or no, less than a month. Uh, no, not less than a month. Sorry, less than two months until it comes out. All right. So the other DC stuff that's kind of been floating around, and it's kind of old, I know, but like I said, these were small stories that didn't mean much. But you know, since we got an episode, let's talk about it. Um, a lot of people talking about how the DC EU was not a thing. And I just find it hilarious. Like, I wanted to jump on and start talking about it. But I was like, you know what? I'm not petty. Whatever. Because if you if you watch me or watch the canon or listen to anything I've done, you know that I refuse to call it the DCEU. I refuse to call it that. If And whenever I'm talking personally about it, I always call it the DCU. And... For the life of me, I can't understand why people had a problem with that. I had so many people. It's the DCU. You're saying it wrong. No, I'm not. First of all, even if Warner Brothers said that it was called that, I don't have to call it that. I think it's a stupid name, so I call it the DCU. Secondly, I never heard Warner Brothers say that or anybody refer to it as that. It's just all the reporters and the media that has said that. And so when this came out that this guy kind of just made it up, I was not shocked. I was like, yeah, that, that sounds about right because I'm pretty sure there was no official announcement that this is the extended universe. And whenever you watch Jeff Johns or anybody from Warner Brothers, they never called it the extended universe. They always say the movies or cinematic or whatever. So DCU was always my thing. So I, I am rejoicing that that is finally a thing. It is so funny to watch all these people on YouTube and other places that just said that uh, all you fans, it's the DC. You say it right now. They're now they're trying to correct everybody. It's not the DC anymore. That was made up. Guys, stop calling it that. Like, shut up. You didn't need, like people can't think for themselves. Is what I'm saying. But I'm glad that uh, we haven't had a new name yet. But call it the DCU. It makes sense. Some people say it sounds too much like the MCU. So what? It stands for Cinematic Universe. That Marvel didn't make up that term. So, it, DCU, MCU. Boom. There we go. Uh, also, within that whole uh, time cycle of news, we had this misconception that the DCU was no longer connected. And this is what I'm talking about when I talk about small 
speculation, rumors, and stupid stuff. Because someone was talking with Jeff Johns, and he said that um, Aquaman is not going to set up other movies. You know, it's not going to set up the next Justice League, blah, 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 stuff like that. And somehow that went all the way to, wow, the DCU is no longer connected. They're only doing standalone movies. And I'm like, how did you get that from what he said? It's mind blowing how people can stretch the uh, facts so far. And so there was nowhere in the uh, interview that he even suggest that they are no longer connected. Uh, let alone uh, him actually saying it. And so, when a lot of people were writing articles and covering it, asking, is this connected anymore? I I just stay away from that stuff because if you read what he said, it's clear. But even if you didn't read, you would wait until official announcement and not some, you know, random excerpt from an interview. And so, of course, Jeff Johns went to Twitter and uh, clarified that it's still connected. And then all these stories just got shot down. Because it was so stupid. It's, uh, um, people keep talking about how uh, Aquaman won't be connected. Or won't set up another movie. Like, that's impossible. Wonder Woman didn't set up Justice League. And a lot of people were saying, well, maybe they'll take the approach they took with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was a standalone movie. Man of Steel didn't set up Batman vs. Superman. They wrote that afterwards. That was a standalone movie. Wonder Woman, A, took place in a different time period. B, standalone movie, didn't set up the next movie. Aquaman is a standalone movie. It stands the reason it's not going to set up the next movie. There might be mentions in there, like you saw Wayne Enterprises and Wonder Woman. You saw the picture from BVS, but it doesn't set up the next movie. It wasn't really crossovers. And that saddens me because I thought DC would head to the crossover route where they really put uh, heroes in each other's movies. But if they're not, that's fine. That's all he was saying is that this movie is going to be about the movie. It's not going to be here to set up the next movie like Avengers 2 where everything or Avengers Age Ultron where everything was just trying to set up Civil War and set up the next uh, Avengers with Thanos. So that's all they were saying is that we're going to focus the story about the character and not about setting up what our next overarching story is. And that's that stands to reason. I mean, I think Marvel does that. They go in trying to do that. I think there's movies where they get a little too out of hand and they do put too many Easter eggs and, you know, take too much time to set stuff up. But for the most part, any cinematic universe treats their standalone movie as a standalone movie. So I don't see why it was news that he was saying Aquaman's not going to set up the next Justice League. So it's just people kind of grab, uh, grasping for straws and overreacting. And, you know, that's kind of why I stay away from that. But anyway, that's the world of DC and all their news. So go to the comment section and tell me what you think about it. What do you think about the new Justice League trailer? Did you call it DCEU? Are you mad it's no longer that? And what do you think about the uh, movies going forward? Should they be crossover? Should they just be standalone? Go to the comment section let me know. Thumbs up, subscribe, and if you heard it here, it's official canon.